Hello and welcome. In today's self-hosting video, we're going to be taking a look at my example bash RC file and we're going to be incorporating that into our server. That's just going to make things a little bit easier and more efficient while we're navigating around in the terminal. This example file can be found on my website someday-soon.xyz. And this isn't plug and play, so we're not just going to completely blow away our existing bash RC file with this. We're going to need to edit it to fit our environment. But let's go ahead and copy the download link right here. Next, we'll SSH into the server. And we're being dropped into our home directory. That's good. That's where we want to be. And we'll just use wget to download it. And here it is, bashrc. However, we do have our existing .bashrc file right here. And we want to retain that one because it has some things that we put in it. Let's take a look. I don't quite remember what we all put in here. It looks like we only put one custom item in here, this update command, which takes a time shift snapshot just prior to running an update so that we can easily revert back if the update breaks our system. And then the rest of this is just the default Open Media Vault Bash RC. We'll start by making a backup of our existing Bash RC in case we don't like the changes that we're making. And the next thing we'll do is append our existing bash RC onto our example file. We'll use cat for that. Then we can next delete it. And now we will rename our example file to be the one that is going to load up with the terminal. The next thing we need to do though is make a few changes in it because like I said, the example file isn't gonna fit perfectly in this Debian environment. So let's go ahead and open it with micro. And we're gonna wanna scroll down to software updates and comment these out right here. Because this is set up for an Arch environment with this update alias. And we have set down here an update alias already previously which should have been appended onto the end right here now we could log out and log back in otherwise we can just do source.bashrc well first let me show you if i do ll now it's not going to work now if we do source.bashrc it's going to load that file now if we do ll it's going to be working and that's it. So you'll have some nice shortcuts set up with this bash RC file that I heavily rely on when I'm using the terminal. I'll go over a few of them with you. Let me put the terminal over here. We'll open this up. We'll put this window over here so that we can look at some of these. So the first one here, this search uses FCF. I don't think FCF is installed on our server. Let's try to run it. And it is not. So we can remedy that just by installing it sudo app install fcf type in your password and now we have a really quick and easy way to search for files within a directory and you can see how that works and it might be a better example if i go all the way back out to root and type search it'll literally find all the files and then, then if you just want to start typing in it does fuzzy finding so you can see as you type it starts narrowing down the files there then we have bat which isn't going to do anything for us if you do not have a piece of hardware with batteries in it you're not going to get any information here otherwise this will give you battery percentage here is a full charge alias that i use on my laptops I keep my laptops plugged in all the time, set to a maximum charge of 40%. So if I know I'm going to be taking the laptop out of the house or away from the charger, about an hour prior, I can run this command full charge, and it will top it off one time. Here we have a way to easily check weather. So we can just type in WEA. It's going to give us a nice little forecast and the weather, and you'll have to change the location to match your location. Go ahead to wttr.in and find out how to find your location if you want to change that. Bitcoin price checker help. We can uh, check for our help file. Now, if we want to use that, we'd have to download this other file right here. We'll copy that. wget 
change it to dat help. And now if we run HLP, you can see it gives us a nice little layout of some of these different shortcuts and aliases that we can reference if we forget what we have available to us. You can edit this however you see fit as well. Q will get you off of that. And then here are some other commands, just alias to use some of the most common command arguments that you'd almost always want to have on them. Down here, these directory commands are really nice. This is really the bread and butter for me. These are the ones that I'm almost always using. You have uh, CD to move up a directory. Instead of typing CD dot dot, we can now just type dot dot and it moves us up a directory. You can see that and type dot dot dot. It'll move us up two directories. So you get the idea. LL is giving us long format, human readable. LLL, same format with hidden files. LSA is giving us our regular format with hidden files. L dot is showing us just the hidden files. And list is gonna show us files ordered by modification time. And then it's piped into head, so it's just giving us top 10. Three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or top eight. Now here's some directory shortcuts. You might want to add a few of your own. If you're changing into the same directories over and over again, you're going to want to make a shortcut for them. So if you find yourself going to the movies directory all the time, you can very easily do that just by typing in movies. If you set an alias for it here, same for getting to the public folder, whatever folder you want to get to, set a shortcut for it. Updates, like I said, this was set up for Arch, so it was using Pac-Man. We commented these out, and this is a flat pack search setting the columns that I like to have output to me. Flat pack isn't set up on our server, but if you use flat pack on your desktops or your laptops, you can run that. And this one's kind of like a joke. This YOLO, where it runs the update without you having to look at it, it just pipes yes right into your update process. Here's some terminal options. Nothing really in here to point out except for maybe this one right here because without setting this, it's really annoying to me when you're trying to CD into our shared folder that has the symlink directories because when you try to tab complete, it would not append this forward slash on the end of it. So you'd have to press tab twice to get that. And that was just really annoying. So setting this right here will make it act like a regular directory and the tab completion will work with just one tab. Here we have some FCF scripts. So these are just different things to use the FCF app for. So over here, if I press Control R, you can see we can very easily go through our command history using FCF. So if I do L dot, it's showing us all the different types of commands with a fuzzy search. We'll Control C off of that. Let's see some of the other options we have. F kill. So this will give us a process list. And if we would choose one of these, we could kill the process. And we can also, again, search. But we're going to control C off of that, not kill anything. You can read the comments and get an understanding of what these all do. We got FE, FDD to change directories, FD, which will also list subdirectories. Let's do an FD over here. We only have one directory in here, scripts. We can search if we hit enter. We are now in the scripts directory, as you can see. Okay, moving on, set a custom title. This one I find very nice. If we have a lot of different terminal windows open, we can change this title up here. So you can see this one was set to OMV, but if we wanted to change that, we could title this one. Say we were working on our dashboard in one terminal, we could set this one to dashboard. Then if we opened up another SSH session into our Open Media Vault and we were working on health checks, let's say we could go title health checks. And then down here, you know, instead of just having it say terminal, 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 we can easily see, you know, which one we want to go into to start working with. We'll close that. Color options, nothing really important in there. 
And here we have an extracting script. So this is kind of handy. Basically, it checks to see what kind of file extension the archive is, and it'll run the correct command with the most common command arguments for you automatically. So you just have to type extract whatever the file is, and it'll take care of the rest for you. Now with that said, a lot of Linux systems, you're not going to have these things installed by default, like unrar, unzip, and 7-zip, and you'd have to install them yourself using your package manager. But for like tar and gunzip, those are usually installed on almost every Linux installation and distro right out of the gate. All right, let me show you that. So if we create a dummy file, we'll just name it test.7-zip. There it is. And if we try to run the extract command on it, we're going to get 7-zip command not found. And it's easy to fix. We just install 7-zip. sudo apt install 7-zip. But we're not done there because this 7-zip utility command is actually 7-zz, not 7-z like the script here is looking for. So the next thing would be to edit that script. Bash RC file, scroll down, 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 and then change the command from 7z to 7zz, control S, control Q, source it. And now if we do extract test that 7zip, you can see it works. Now this isn't an actual 7zip archive, so it's going to error, but that's what we would expect. And then we, you know, if you do have RAR files and zip files, you need to un, you'd need to install unzip as well, unrar as well within your Linux package manager. Well, that's it for this video. Wanted to keep this one short and simple and just show you how to set up this example bash RC file for your own environment. Hopefully this will help and save you some time navigating the terminal. Thank you for watching and you have a nice day.